Okay, today is really our second day covering Chapter 1. Uh, you should pull open your notes from Chapter 1. We've already gone over this first page. I want to review the second page just very quickly. This is the overview of the four financial statements. Revenue minus expenses equals net income. That's on the income statement. Then we have the next financial statement that tells us about the owners, uh, which are the stockholders. Uh, the two accounts, common stock, which the company issues to the shareholders when they buy stock, and then the profits or earnings or net income, those are all the same thing, belong to the owner. So we're going to track uh, what the earnings the company started with that they had kept in the business. So beginning retained earnings take this period. So period of time could be a year, could be a month. Uh, that period of times profit or net income flows into this retained earnings statement. We subtract dividends, which are distribution of the earnings, to arrive at ending retained earnings. And then those two accounts at the end of the accounting period, common stock and retained earnings, I want to take each of those and those will go forward to the balance sheet. So the balance sheet is just what it says it is. It something has to balance. The left side has to equal the right hand side. So we have assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. Assets basically are what things the company owns. Liability is the debt, things that the company owes money for. And then stockholders equity is considered the re residual. So we're going to bring the common stock and retained earnings and that's going to tell about the owners. Okay, and then I'm going to stretch this balance sheet out even more. So we know assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. We have our two components of stockholders' equity. And now we're going to make this a big stretch out this equation so we can analyze transactions. So revenue and expenses flow into retained earnings. So we're going to put them here underneath retained earnings. Okay, so I've done that very quickly. I added revenue, subtracted expense, and we need to remember revenue is providing goods and services. It's when we sell something. Expenses are using something up, and usually it's a service, so consume. Some, and those things have a cost to them, like insurance, utilities, uh, advertising, salaries, that sort of thing. So expenses are the cost consumed to generate uh, pro revenue or profits for the company. Okay, and then I've just added dividends to all of this. So revenue minus expenses, that's our profit. And so net income, and if we choose to distribute that profit, that's a dividend. Um, and so that can be issued to the shareholders, a return of the profits. Okay, then I had a page. These are the 10 elements of the financial statements. We've really only looked at eight of those. These two down here, we won't get to until later in the semester. Uh, contributed capital, where actually that's the common stock account. Uh, and then distributions, I've just been la labeling in your book, dividends. But here's, um, a, you know, a more elaborate definition of all of those things. And I've got all of those on our accounting equation back here. Okay, then we looked at uh, when transactions take place, analyzing those transactions. So millions or thousands of transactions will take place. Think of Walmart and every time they make a sale, uh, that's a transaction. So millions and thousands, hundreds, thousands, millions of transactions take place. The accounting system filters those down so that at the end, the accountant can write out or prepare those four financial statements. And I realize I haven't gotten to cash flow yet. I'll do that at the end of this um, uh, lecture. Okay, so we got this far, and uh, we know that transactions, the company gives up something, in exchange receives, receives something. So there has to be both a giving up and a receive for it to be an accounting event or accounting transaction. Okay, so last week in class, um, 
Well, with one of my sections, we actually got all the way through question eight, um, this exercise 19A. In my other class, we did not. I'm going to actually work through the part A. Uh, those of you that don't need this, just fast forward through this and um, no sense in me watching it. But, um, but I just kind of want to kind of give a review. Okay, so number one, acquired cash, uh, 30,000 cash by issuing stock. Okay, so I've over here added something. Uh, you've probably got some space to put it here and go back, but here's a review of our accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. The two components of stockholders' equity are common stock and retained earnings. Under retained earnings, we have revenue, which is providing, it's going to provide goods and services. Expenses are when we use something, we use a service. And dividends are when we distribute the profits. Then I've broken this page in half, and we're going to start by analyzing transactions. So in transaction one, uh, what did we give up? We gave up stock certificate. And in exchange, and I'm talking about from the company's point of view, in exchange, the company received $30,000 cash that they're going to put in the bank. So you first understand what did the company give up? What did the company receive? Then we analyze it into these accounting elements, assets, liabilities, common stock, retained earnings, revenue, expense, and dividends. The stock certificate, that's common stock. And then uh, receiving cash, cash is an asset, something that we own. So I'm just going to put A there for asset. Okay, and this is going up, and our stock certificates are going up. So we're going to go back over to the problem in the accounting grid. We're going to increase cash assets, 30000 increase common stock, 30000 So let's put that in here. So cash is going to go up, 30000 and then go over to common stock and increase it. The number of shares issued are going up. So we're keeping everything in balance. Assets go up, common stock goes up. Number two, pay cash to buy land. So what happened? Uh, we gave up cash. In exchange, we received land. And then analyze what are each of those. Well, actually, they're both things that we own. So they are both assets. Cash is going down. We're giving it up. And the land, we're increasing the amount of land that we own. So it's an asset exchange. One asset is going down in exchange for the other. We go over here to our grid, and we're going to record that. So cash um, cash went down 12000 So I put a negative 12000 I use brackets. And land went up 12,000. So nothing had to happen on the other side to keep this equation in balance. Cash went down 12, land went up. Number three, borrowed cash for $10,000. So uh, cash would go up. Oh, excuse me. That's giving up. Uh, cash is what we're receiving if we borrow money. And then uh, if we borrow money, then we owe, right? Kind of like an IOU. So we receive cash in addition to owing money. We have to pay it back in the future. All right, cash is something we own. That's an asset. And if we owe something, that's a liability. Our debt is going up. Our assets are going up. Okay, and we're going to call this thing we owe a note payable. So we owe money to the bank, so we have a note with the bank. And when we owe money, we call that payable. So we're going to increase cash, increase notes payable on the other side. So cash went up 10000 Cash goes up 10000 Here's our liability. They have note payable there. And we increase the amount we owe by ten grand, And it keeps everything in balance. Number four, provided services for $20,000 cash. So we're going to receive cash, and we provide services. 
in exchange. We get cash in exchange. We provide services. Cash, again, is something we own. That's an asset going up. Providing services, that's revenue. And we have increased our revenue by providing services. Okay, we go to the other page, increase each of those. So cash is going up, 20 grand. And under retained earnings, we have $20,000 of revenue. And I'm going to call that, I'll just call it revenue. If I had space, um, maybe service revenue. When we go to write out our income statement. So service revenue. Okay, and that keeps the equation in balance. Number five, pay cash for utilities expense. So this time, we're actually giving up cash. We gave up cash, and we got to use the utilities the utility company provided. That's what we received. So we got to use utilities, and we gave up cash to use those util utilities. Cash is an asset going down, right? We're giving up cash. Utilities, that's something we use. That's an expense. And we are increasing that expense. <clears throat> uh, that expense is going up. I do want to make a point. It's under retained earnings. I'm just going to put RE. And retained earnings goes down for expenses. So we're going to reduce it under retained earnings. Over here, revenue is also part of retained earnings. But revenue causes retained earnings to go up. That's why we added revenue. Here, I'm going to subtract under retained earnings for the expense. So one side will go down. Each side's going to go down. Let's go put it over. Okay, so we're going to pay utilities of $1,000, so cash will go down. And under retained earnings, retained earnings will go down uh, as well, keeping that equation in balance. And retained earnings is going down because of utilities expense. Okay, so retained earnings went down for the expense. Uh, number six, pay cash for operating expenses. This is the same th sort of thing, except they're really not telling us what the operating expenses are. So we give up cash and we get things. Uh, operating expenses could be uh, salaries, uh, insurance, thing, etc. Things like that. Uh, so we used all of those operating expenses, paid salaries, used the insurance. Over here, cash is an asset going down. And again, these are expenses. And expenses cause retained earnings to go down. Should be a down arrow. Sorry. We'll cause retained earnings to go down. Okay, so let's go reduce assets. Let's go reduce retained earnings. So $15,000 cash will go out. And over here under retained earnings, it will go down as well. And I'm just going to abbreviate that OP for operating expense. You can write out the whole thing, operating expenses, if you want. I just put OP for operating expense. Sorry, it's messy. It's kind of hard to write on this thing. So OP, operating expense. Okay, number seven, pay to cash dividend. So cash will go out. And uh, this one's harder. We're just paying a dividend uh, over here. Uh, assets will go down. And dividends reduce retained earnings. Okay, so real quick, we've got assets going down, retained earnings going down, put it on the grid. Okay, so cash went down 2000 retained earnings went down 2000 for dividends. Okay, and then lastly, uh, determine that the market value of the stock, uh, the land had gone up. This is not an accounting event because nothing was actually received and nothing was actually given up. So nothing happens on the last one.